Hello, everyone. This is Professor Soyang of Mechanical Engineering at the University of Minnesota. I would like to introduce you about uh, my lab, the Computational Reactive Flow and Energy Lab, CRFEL. So my lab basically develop and uh, use a high fidelity computational fluid dynamics, CFD, methodology to investigate a lot of topics. Why the why uh, there's a lot of topics we investigate? Uh, I normally consider four of them as our core areas, which are listed here. They are supersonic combustion, high pressure multi-phase flows, plasma cystic combustion, and the nanoparticles in combustion emissions. So I would like to introduce you to our four areas one by one. So let's first talk about uh, supersonic combustion. The major motivation and an application is this so-called scramjet to enable the future hypersonic flight. And uh, when we talk about hypersonic, we, we mean the Mach number is greater than five. That means your flight speed is at least five times larger than the speed of sound. And in such engine, uh, we normally inject a fuel by such jetting cross flow as you can see here. And uh, we have a greater challenge of uh, flame stability and ignition. Practically, there are several two uh, major strategies to stabilize the flame in such a harsh condition. One is this is drought inject flame holder. The other is the cavity flame holder in below. And uh, in our group, we use a high fidelity CFD simulation to investigate both type of flame holders. To actually understand the, what's going on during the flame stabilization process and the auto ignition process, we develop very advanced computational diagnostic tools. And using these tools, uh, Rather than just uh, get the raw data, we can actually understand which physical and chemical process um, control and uh, enhance the flame stabilization and auto ignition process, just as uh, what I'm showing here. Another uh, important uh, area of supersonic combustion is, uh, is this rotating detonation engine. This, this is a very new concept, and if, if it can be achieved in the future, it can give an unprecedented high efficiency for both rocket engine and the gas turbine. Now let's talk about the, the second area, which is the high pressure multi-phase flows. The motivation for this area is, is that uh, the rocket engine and the diesel engine and the next generation gas turbine, they all operate on the extremely high pressure. For example, the SpaceX Starship Raptor, uh, Raptor rocket engine operate more than 300 ATM. Under such condition, you can go inside the so-called thermodynamically supercritical region. And here is an example of our simulation for this uh, uh, machine liquid oxygen uh, mixing and the combustion process for such rocket engine. Supercritical uh, fluid and transcritical fluid are very different from the traditional subcritical fluid in terms of uh, surface, uh, in terms of the interface between the two phases and the surface tension, as I showed here. And uh, more importantly, the mixture a uh, critical point could be much higher than the single component one, such that some so-called supercritical fluid could even be in the subcritical region. And in this video, as you can see, we inject uh, only the single phase, but uh, due to the two-phase zone and the phase separation, we can generate the other phase. Under such a transcritical 
condition, the interface between the liquid and the gas phase becomes thickened. You don't see the sharp interface. As a result, the evaporation process become, uh, become very non-equilibrium. And uh, we develop advanced non-equilibrium model to capture it accurately. And here shows you how important the, the non-equilibrium term is. And uh, finally, in this uh, two-phase zone, we will have uh, this microscopic phase separation. And we are currently developing new models to capture such uh, complicated phenomena. The third area is the plasma-assisted combustion. The first motivation is in the scramjet because the flow is so fast. It has very, very small resistance time to go through the engine. As a result, you need this uh, extremely fast ignition, which the traditional way cannot enable. So the new concept is if you introduce this so-called plasma-assisted ignition, you can shorten your ignition delay by orders of magnitude such that you can enable this scramjet engine ignition. We do very detailed uh, numerical simulation, which can give us far more information than experiment. Here is the example to show you the detailed chemical process during the two-stage ignition uh, for the scramjet applications. And uh, we can actually understand what happened to trigger the super fast ignition by plasma. Another application of plasma assisted combustion is to, uh, to burn the carbon free ammonia. Carbon free ammonia is considered to be a future important energy source to get rid of the greenhouse gas emission. However, it is very hard to burn because it's very in the flame is very weak and it's very easy to get extinction. So research found that using plasma, you can actually ex significantly extend the flame so-called flammability limit such that under the condition it cannot burn before, we can burn it now. And we use large eddy simulation to investigate such phenomena. The last uh, uh, research area is the nanoparticles in combustion e emission. So such uh, this area is motivated by the uh, soot particle emission from both industry and uh, engine combustions. And uh, you can see that we have a very complicated physical and chemical process to form all these particles. And in our group, we use a statistical a uh, way to model such complicated process. And this plot shows you how accurate our modeling it is. In practical problems, we have very complicated uh, turbulent combustion phenomena, and the turbulence will interact with the chemistry and the nanoparticle uh, to make the problem even more challenging than what we saw in the last slide. And uh, in our group, we conduct uh, we conduct the high fidelity direct numerical simulation to get uh, in depth physical understanding. And based on that, we do subgrid scale modeling to enable the high fidelity large eddy simulation. Here is an example to show you our new model uh, improved the accuracy by a factor of eighty compared to the traditional model. And uh, we use it to conduct the large eddy simulation for jet flame and also apply it to gasoline direct injection engine is the next generation IC engine. Okay, so that's all the four areas in our lab. And uh, this is the beautiful University of Minnesota campus. I hope you like my presentation and uh, we welcome uh, more uh, people to visit and also join our group. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and this is my contact information. Thanks.